Welcome to our channel. This video covers the health and welfare 20 questions and answers from the CITB book health safety and environment test for operatives and specialists. This video is part of a series covering all the questions and answers from this booklet. A link has been provided in the top right corner of this video to continue with the next video in the series. For your information, the actual CSCS test is 45 minutes long. You will need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to be successful in the test. Wishing you all the best. Thank you and let's get started. Question 1. If you get a hazardous substance on your hands, it can pass from your hands to your mouth when you eat. Give two ways to stop this. A. Wear protective gloves while you are working. B. Wash your hands before eating. C. Put barrier cream on your hands before eating. D. Wear protective gloves then turn them inside out before eating. E. Wash your work gloves then put them on again before eating. The correct answers are. A. Wear protective gloves while you are working. B. Wash your hands before eating. Question 2. You can catch an infection called tetanus from contaminated land or water. How does it get into your body? A. Through your nose when you breathe. B. Through an open cut in your skin. C. Through your mouth when you eat or drink. D. It doesn't. It only infects animals and not people. The correct answer is. B. Through an open cut in your skin. Question 3. What is the legal minimum that should be provided on site for washing your hands? A. Uh, nothing. There is no need to provide washing facilities. B. A bowl, kettle and towel. C. A cold water standpipe and paper towels. D. Hot and cold water, or warm water, soap and a way to dry your hands. The correct answer is. D. Hot and cold water, or warm water, soap and a way to dry your hands. Question 4. Look at these statements about illegal drugs in the workplace. Which one is true in relation to site work? A. Users of illegal drugs are a danger to everyone on site. B. People who take illegal drugs work better and faster. C. People who take illegal drugs take fewer days off work. D. Taking illegal drugs is a personal choice so other people shouldn't worry about it. The correct answer is. A. Users of illegal drugs are a danger to everyone on site. Question 5. It is your first day on site. You find that there is nowhere to wash your hands. What should you do? A. Wait until you get home, then wash them. B. Go to a local cafe or pub and use the wash basin in their toilet. C. Speak to your supervisor about the problem. D. Bring your own bottle of water the next day. The correct answer is. C. Speak to your supervisor about the problem. Question 6. Your doctor has given you some medication. Which of these questions is the most important? A. Will it make me drowsy or unsafe to work? B. Will I work more slowly? C. Will my supervisor find out? D. Will I oversleep and be late for work? The correct answer is. A. Will it make me drowsy or unsafe to work? Question 7. You should not use white spirit or other solvents to clean your hands because they. A. Strip the protective oils from the skin. B. Remove the top layer of skin. C. Block the pores of the skin. D. Carry harmful bacteria that attack the skin. The correct answer is. A. Strip the protective oils from the skin. Question 8. Direct sunlight on bare skin can cause. A. Dermatitis. B. Rickets. C. Acne. D. Skin cancer. The correct answer is. D. Skin cancer. Question 9. You should not just rely on barrier cream to protect your skin from harmful substances because. A. It costs too much to use every day. B. Many harmful substances go straight through it. C. It is difficult to wash off. D. It can irritate your skin. The correct answer is. B. Many harmful substances go straight through it. Question 10. Exposure to engine oil and other mineral oils can cause. A. Skin problems. B. Heart disease. C. Breathing problems. D. Vibration white finger. The correct answer is. A. 
Skin problems. Question 11. You can get occupational dermatitis from a hand arm vibration. B. Another person with dermatitis. C. Some types of strong chemical. D. Sunlight. The correct answer is C. Some types of strong chemical. Question 12. Which of the following species of animal is the most likely carrier of Viles disease? Leptospirosis. On construction sites. A. Rabbits. B. Rats. C. Squirrels. D. Mice. The correct answer is B. Rats. Question 13. To help keep rats away, everyone on site should A. Buy rat traps and put them around the site. B. Ask the local authority to put down rat poison. C. Throw food scraps over the fence or hoarding. D. Only put food and drink rubbish in bins provided. The correct answer is D. Only put food and drink rubbish in bins provided. Question 14. You are more likely to catch Viles disease, leptospirosis, if you A. Work near wet ground, waterways or sewers. B. Work near air conditioning units. C. Fix showers or baths. D. Drink water from a standpipe. The correct answer is A. Work near wet ground, waterways or sewers. Question 15. The early signs of Viles disease, leptospirosis, can be easily confused with A. Dermatitis. B. Diabetes. C. Hay fever. D. Influenza. The correct answer is D. Influenza. Question 16. What sort of rest area should your employer provide on site? A. A covered area. B. A covered area and some chairs. C. A covered area, tables and chairs, and something to heat water and food. D. Nothing. Employers don't have to provide rest areas. The correct answer is C. A covered area, tables and chairs, and something to heat water and food. Question 17. The toilets on your site are always dirty or do not flush. What should you do? A. Try not to use the toilets while you are at work. B. Tell the person in charge of the site about the problem. C. Try to fix the fault yourself. D. See if you can use the toilets in a nearby cafe or pub. The correct answer is B. Tell the person in charge of the site about the problem. Question 18. You should only clean very dirty hands with A. Soap and water B. Thinners C. White spirit D. Paraffin The correct answer is A. Soap and water Question 19. If you use skin barrier cream you should apply it A. Before you start work B. When you finish work C. As part of first aid treatment D. When you can't find your gloves The correct answer is A. Before you start work. Question 20. Someone goes to the pub at lunchtime and has a couple of pints of beer. What should they do next? A. Drink plenty of strong coffee then go back to work. B. Stay away from the site for the rest of the day. C. Stay away for an hour and then go back to work. D. Eat something. Wait 30 minutes and then go back to work. The correct answer is B. Stay away from the site for the rest of the day. Congratulations. You have completed the health and welfare questionnaire. Please continue with the next video in this series. Link is provided in the top right corner of this video.